You are craving for adventure. How about heading into the heart of Shefoksundo National Park through alpine forests, raging rivers and arid mountains of western Nepal. And if you can gather a bit more courage, venture further where most people don't go. Hey, we can't begin. Prepare yourself for a visual feast as we take you on an epic adventure. This is Travarart and you are in for an epic journey into the largest national park in Nepal. So get ready for an adrenaline rush. and also some peace of mind. Meet the beautiful people of Dolpa as we cross roads with them. People who make the journey even more worthwhile. Ama? <laughs> As we make everlasting memories on the way through mind-numbingly beautiful landscapes and people as beautiful as the land they live on. It is early morning, the sun is rising into the crystal clear sky and we are just waking up inside this tent, right next to this gorgeous view. Of the very few people who venture into the laps of the Shefoksundo Lake at 3,660 meters, most people reach the little village of Ringmo with about 70 households at its southern tip. Fewer reach Tsolofu, the far edge of this 4.94 square kilometer lake, which is also gateway to Upper Dolpo and home to the elusive, almost mythical snow leopard. On our journey from Ringmo village to Tsolofu, we came across the skeleton of a yak that was preyed upon by a snow leopard. To get there, we walked all day from Ringmo through the trail along the mountains that surround the lake. The trail is also known as the Caravan Trail after being featured in Caravan, a 1998 Oscar nominated movie reflecting life in Upper Dolpo. But how did we get here in the first place? We actually went to the airport to fly into the Everest region, but a combination of bad weather closing down the airport in Lukla and us not wanting to go back home meant we boarded the plane to Dolpa instead. Change of plans, we were now heading west instead of east. 
Previously, you had to catch a connecting flight in Nepal Gonds, but Summit Air has recently introduced direct flights from Kathmandu to Chufal Airport in Dolpa. If you don't want to fly, you can also travel by road through Dunai, the headquarter of Dolpa district. As soon as we landed, our plane was back on its way before we even left the runway. A quick jeep ride from the airport to Suligarh and now you are at the doorsteps of Se Foksundo National Park. As much as mountains are a theme throughout your trek through Dolpa, so are rivers and water. Welcome to Se Foksundo National Park. Make sure to buy some delicious local apples while you are at the airport in Zufal. Whenever we found a place to rest and enjoy these delicious apples, we did. Thank you. Once in a while, you come across tiny, empty villages which are actually winter settlements for people who live upstream. These are temporary winter settlements, so you will not find anyone here during the warm seasons. The buzzing jet engine like sound that you continuously hear humming in the background throughout the trek is the river roaring nearby. And the old growth forests that you walk through will heal your soul. We took our time to reach Foksundo and reached there on the third day. Trekkers can still easily reach there in two days though. Locals usually do it in one. Most of the settlements you come across during the trek have no more than five or six houses. Ringmo, the village situated next to Foksundo being the biggest village in the region. Don't forget to try some delicious locally brewed alcohol and local potatoes throughout the trip. As you trek through the sound of the river's roar, you have to cross countless bridges on the way of all kinds. While walking, you will at times come across locals who are carrying heavy loads of goods either on their backs or on mules and horses, which is how most food and other basic goods are transported in the region. We stopped for lunch right next to this wooden bridge in Sidak.
If you are used to treks, then the first two days of walking should be fairly easy. If you are new to walking, get ready to walk. We then stopped at Riazzi for the night. When I was traveling this route in 2017, I had stopped here for lunch while returning from Foxundo Lake. Corona got you. Corona, I am the Yatamosu cigarette. Do they want it? Do they want to ask a little cigarette when it's a corona? Quite decay, one in one day. I say about I mean, the end of it, I am really at the corona of more by. Never Get ready for some steep climbs on the day you reach Foxundo. Although a new trail has been made for part of the journey, which is much easier to climb compared to the super steep slopes you had to climb a few years back. Take some time to appreciate the sheer power of these rivers as they force down gorges that they have formed in these parts perhaps over millions of years. We then stopped for lunch at Somzona Hotel which is close to the only school and health post in the region. Tapriza School which is supported by Tapriza NGO Switzerland hosts students up to 10th grade. It is situated next to the newly built health post. Locals usually had to walk 2-3 to three days to Dunai to get to the nearest health post before it was built. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 Prepare yourself to climb some steep slopes right before you get to the ultimate prize of Lake Foxundo and Ringmo village. We are sure you surely won't miss out this massive waterfall on the way as it rushes out of Fuxundo. Photo in here, video. The evening we reached Ringmo, families had taken into the fields and it was harvest time. 
Not much grows in these dry and barren lands. Potato is the most widely grown crop in the region. And it is potato harvesting season right now. Families take turns harvesting each other's fields. And once that is done, the potatoes are then buried under the soil to preserve them through the winter to be consumed in the next season. Sustenance farming is one of two major sources of food here, the other being rice and grains that are brought on the back of mules, horses and potters from towns and villages that are at least a day of walking from Bringmo. Smriti decided to make use of her own potato harvesting skills while on the field and share her experiences with the locals on how it's done in a different environment. <laughs> Spending time with the locals on the fields was a plain reminder of how simple life really is and should be. <laughs> No matter where you live or what you do, we are all here temporarily sharing the same home until we are all gone. So here's a reminder to just be more kind to one another and to share the joys of life with those you cross roads with. <laughs> And then, it was time to give someone a surprise visit. Ama? Do you want to go to the house? Yes. Where are you going? Aldo Kondo. Aldo Kondo? Yes. Do you want to go to the house? Yes. Do you want to go to the house? Yes. Three years back, when I first came to Dolpa, I stayed with Ama. She would cook me delicious meals of buckwheat bread and baked potatoes and I would sometimes help her bring in firewood and water from nearby. I spent an entire week exploring the village of Ringmo and its surroundings during the Yashagumba hunting season, so it was just me and a few handful of the elderly in the village. ほてちゃあにさとはのんてえ。ほてちゃあ。と、ちゃいなこんなの。あ、こそともっと。ほてちゃかしやと。あがしゃとりね、しゃと。ねな。うんつかにかに。<laughs> <laughs> あまこうめ。シャティ。シャティ。シャティ、よくシャティ、バイシャティ、ティンシャティ、ザシャティ。パンシャティ、ツェシャティ。シャシャティ。えー、サプリウナウナ。で、かんでちゃかんで。もう。
but it definitely helps when Lake Foxundo is right in front of your eyes. Foxundo is an alpine freshwater lake in the heart of the She Foxundo National Park which was declared as such in 1984. It is the largest and the only Trans Himalayan National Park in Nepal covering the districts of Tolpa and Mugu in Midwestern Nepal. The park is also home to many religious sites including the famous She Gompa in Upper Dolpo which was established in the 11th century. Pal Senten Thasung Choling Gompa, which is nearest to Ringmo village, was established in 1574. Although very closely related to Buddhism, Bon, the native pre-Buddhist religious tradition of Tibet is still practiced in these parts. Followers of the religion are referred to as Bonpos and the monks often live here year-round even into the harsh winter. If you are lucky enough to find one of the monks, you can ask them to show you around and they will open the gate inside the monastery. Mm. We also ask them about the journey to the legendary She Gompa. She Gompa is not a place to go, but it's Sigari <laughs> 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 ए <laughs> 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 एक <laughs> 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 Mustang. 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 Mustang.
हमी मनंग गए अस्ति ने Traveling is not only about seeing new places and going on adventures. It is equally about connecting with the people whom you meet while traveling and forming a bond with them, experiencing life as they do. And as surprising as it may sound, carpenters and other artisans also come here from surrounding districts, often looking for work. During the three nights that we stayed in Ringmo, we stayed at Lama Hotel and Lodge. The hospitality we received was wonderful and we were served some delicious food. We were treated as part of the family and we just had a great time interacting with this lovely group of people. It is run by the Lama family and it was they who suggested us to go to Tsolofu. On our second night, we came across a group of boys from Pokhara who were also traveling to these parts. So when you are in Ringmo, you now know where to go for accommodation. The village of Ringmo has about 70 households and a population of a few hundred people. It gives you a glimpse of how people have been living here for centuries and the beautiful traditional architecture along with the landscapes in the backdrop almost make you forget what here it is right now. Chortens or small shrines are scattered around the village along with prayer flags reflecting how much life here is tied up with religion. There is also an army barrack right at the edge of the lake. Check posts that are habited by the army are scattered throughout the national park. <laughs> It is day 6 of our trip and we are on our way from the village of Ringmo to Tsolofu, which is on the other side of Foksundo, which isn't even visible from Ringmo. To get there, you journey through the trails that lay on cliffs and ridges that surround the lake. And once in a while, you may come across people. <laughs> Saldan Nando. Saldan. Yes, sir. Now, what is your viewpoint? Oh, it's a little bit. 
अब मैं कम छिरा झंडा एक दिन तो बड़ी ए तब हम ये Believe it or not, for these people, this is their daily commute. So think about it the next time you complain about traffic. Baya, we can't even get. These trails are definitely not for the faint-hearted. By late evening, we had made it to Tsolofu, and we met Ba as soon as we got there. आसर को पंद्रह गधे आसर को पंद्रह सौ गधे देखिए देखिए आई पानी पड़ी रहा है आह कार हूँ ना पानी पड़े बोलूँ अब कार हो सच्चे का ना इस टाइम जुतांगे जिंदा की बिताने पर सा कार हो इच्छा कोई ले रोमाले लाख सा कोई ले जाने घर हो लाख सा अब यहाँ आए बच्चे गाय दूने सांवरी औरों सरों ने पाठा औरों सरों � खोचले दोनों ये दुनिया वाले ये पुरायो मुख्य योरु सामुलोरु ये वाले मुख्य बोली क्या तलो जाने ना इधर याक्स एंड माउंटेन गोट्स वर जस्ट रिटर्निंग आफ्टर हैविंग क्रीज्ड ओवर इन द नियरबाय माउंटेन्स ड्यूरिंग द डे एंड द ओनली पीपल हु लिव हियर आर हर्डर्स हु ब्रोट दिस एनिमल्स टू ग्रेज फ्रॉम नियरबाय We were less than ten people there that night. Upon reaching, we were treated to some delicious salt and butter tea and potatoes cooked under fire ashes. Yo, alu uta mati bol lemba ma? Aina gamo bata. Ring mo bata? Aaj. 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 भित्र के ऊन हो नाइलैंड द टेन्ट एंड द नेक्स्ट टू मील्स विद बा एंड आमा एज नाइट सेटल्ड इन ब्रिंगिंग विद इट अटर साइलेंस एंड कोल्ड एंड स्टार्स गैदर्ड ओवर आवर हेड्स घोड़ा हो बोली 
सोला रही हो Solofu is so quiet and isolated that monks come here to meditate. Lodoi Lama, who practices Buddhism in Kathmandu as a monk, has been here for the past month meditating in the laps of the Fuksundo Lake and the Kanjirova mountain right behind us. He also showed us Uzo, a special kind of wood that is highly valued in these parts for its inflammable properties. The next morning we spent some more time here before making our way back to Ringmo. The place is so pretty and peaceful, you just don't want to leave. And before leaving, Smithy decided to walk around for a while trying on oversized local attire. It was finally time to say goodbye to Ama, who was about to leave with packed lunch for Ba, who was out in the woods collecting firewood. It was now time for us to begin our journey back home and the monk joined us on our walk till Ringmo. Also, we wanted to take a different route while heading back. The morning we left, we were invited at the monk's house in Ringmo for a cup of coffee. We wanted to drop by the village of Rike on our way back, which most people do not travel through. So we were given instructions on how to find our way. One last look behind at Ringmo and the lake before we move on. Be careful if you do decide to travel through Rike on your way back as the trail at some parts is quite risky. Rikhe village makes for an alternative route while heading back to Zufal on the way down. 
It's a small village that most people do not visit, but offers a pleasant alternative route. We stopped at one of the houses for lunch. Hey, you sit down, sir. Sit down. Did you get that cookie? Oh, no, sad man. You sir, you sad man. Sad man, na? Sad man. Sad man, yeah, sir. Oh, sad man, but bad man, dasar. Solo. Solo. Solo, poo, but now that uta, this is. Yeah, man, sir, come. Yeah, man, sir, what is going on, sir? We came across many wonderful people throughout the trek. The diversity of people you meet during your journey is incredible, and everyone has a story of their own. I also came across many people whom I had met during my previous travel to Tolpa in 2017. And it was wonderful to cross roads with them again. <laughs> Dolpa is one of the most pristine and untouched treks that you can find in Nepal, at least until now. Before you forget, here is a reminder of how epic the trek through Sefoksundo National Park is. Share this video and show the world the beauty of Dolpa and Nepal. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and we will see you at the other side.